hello beautiful people today i'm gonna be making this chicken sausage so here i have my chicken i have my butter i have my flour a seven cups of flour a teaspoon of baking powder and three tablespoons of sugar and i have four blocks of um butter there and also a pound of chicken so the first thing is to mix the dry ingredients so I'm gonna be adding my sugar and my baking powder into the flour so we'll mix it all up together so give it a very good mix one thing to know is that the chicken is very nutritious so if you use chicken you can use beef so now I'll be adding my butter now, the four blocks of butter, into the flour mixture. And I'll try to mix them together as smooth as possible. So we'll mix it up, up together now. After mixing it all up together, we'll try and make sure it gives you, uh, it, it will look like breadcrumbs when you're done mixing it together. So mix it for a couple of minutes and then you have that kind of texture. As you can see, I'm trying to go very close to the camera for it so you can see how the texture is like. So now we can now start adding our milk. I have a cup of milk in there, so I'll just add it gradually, just in case I don't have to use it all, but I definitely need to use everything. So but it's just good to add it gradually. So I keep adding it gradually. Till I finish adding up all the milk in there. So we'll mix it all up, then it still needs a little bit of water, so I'll be adding a little bit of water. That's about half a cup of water. I'm not going to be using all of this, I'm just going to be adding a tablespoon each, so I get the texture I want. The end result is for you to be able to mix it up and the flour not sticking to your, to your hand, that way it will be very easy for you to knead, and you don't have to you know putting flour every minute and try to prevent it from sticking so now i think we've gotten that um, texture now as you can see so i just needed to add like about three tablespoons of water and after adding the cup of milk and you can see that everything is well done and it's not sticking to my hand so i think it's good so now i'm gonna cover it up with a film and put it in the fridge to set just so we get our butter a little solidified so i'll put it in the fridge and i'll go ahead and start blending my chicken now so i'm adding my chicken to this hand blender this blender has been a lifesaver it makes blending so easy right? when i don't want to add water to what i'm blending so it minces my meat very easily so i use it for my chicken and for my beef so i'm using chicken right now so as you can see it's mincing it really well so as you can see looking well minced so i blend all the chicken like that and our, our flour is still in the free setting so it's time to season the minced chicken so i'm mincing the chicken now i'm adding paprika there and that is um spicy chicken um flavor i think i got this at the farmer's market okay you can get it at the farmer's market too I also put it at the farmer's market it's also a spicy chicken flavor it's got oregano in it it's got bay leaves and some other spices just all spices so it gives it a spicy chicken so that's have um, onion powder so I'll add a little bit of onion powder to it just some onion powder if you like onion you can add more then a little bit of sea salt I'll adding some sea salt into it also and I also have my garlic salt it's got parsley, garlic, and salt basically, so you can just add a little bit of that to it. 
so that will be fine i just had a little bit of it so i see that i already have my seed salt in there and i'll be adding my flour just to thicken it so i'll be mixing it all up together now You can add more paprika if you want and that way you can get more color into it if you want you can add more paprika but i think i'm okay with what i have now so let me see that look and now i'm just gonna all my pan and dust some flowers on it just so my sausages won't or my sausage roll won't stick to the pan or whatever you're going to be using to bake so that's what i'm doing right now and i'll set this aside and it's almost time to get our dough out of the fridge so we'll be getting our dough out of the fridge, fridge now so i'll take my dough now it's out of the fridge can you see it's a little set now then we'll cut it into half now we keep the remaining half into the bowl and cover it up and then we'll start kneading and working with this so i try to make sure it forms a, a a rectangular shape just so it's very easy i don't have to start um rolling each roll each sausage roll i don't have to roll it um, one by one so this way i just have to cut it when i give it a, a, i make a very long rectangle i make it as rectangular as i can can be perfect but you can try and make it as um, neat as you can make it so i try and make it like a rectangle or close to a rectangle let me see and after making it to the rectangle i need it properly to need it make it as flat you can make it thick you can make it very flat it just depends on how you like your crust to be if you want it to be thick but i really like this crust because it's it's got lots of butter in there and it's flaky it's really nice so sometimes i just want to even eat the crust so i can make it thick sometimes and sometimes i make it a little thin so it just depends on what you want so this is a i'll say medium so i have my sort of a rectangle now so now i'll have to i'll put my chicken in it now so after putting in my chicken so the method i'm gonna be using is going to be fast so i arrange my minced chicken now this particular way so that way i just roll it all up once and i can get maybe 10 sausages from this when i'm done so i think i have it all rolled up so now as you can see see the way i'm rolling it so i'm gonna be rolling it this way yeah and i roll it try and roll it to the end so that makes life easier so i'm done all rolling it now now it's just for me to cut now it's time for me to cut it so i can get like a couple of rolls from this and i keep doing this till i'm done with my flour so as you can see i, I, I was able to get about 10 from this roll so this makes it faster for me rather than having to you know rather than having to you know um roll it like one by one and to take a long, a long time so that's what that's what i usually do so i think this method is something you will like if you can try it it's be fast so now i'll be putting this in the oven i'll be heating my oven to 375 degrees fahrenheit and i'm putting it into a fork with a fork now i'm putting into it it gives it i don't know what that what that does basically is uh, i don't know it, it just airs it a little so it doesn't bust open and it just gives it a nice look so i'm going to be applying some egg wash over it now just to give it a golden look and you know make make it look attractive so i'm going to be doing that and just brushing the egg white all over it so i'll just beat and um, break one egg into a bowl add a little bit of water about a teaspoon of water and mix it up together and apply it all over the uh, sausage roll 
actually this is a chicken roll but you know most people call this as a roll most people use um beef where you can use beef or whatever kind of meat you have but i'm using chicken right now so i use any kind of meat i have available and the chicken is really nice i've tried turkey also so now we've heated it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes now you can see how it